whether it's a comic book, whether it's written music, whether it's movie, whatever we do artistically, art, the arts have a power to succeed where politics and religion fails. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? We can go tell them to pray and all that. Ground. But Everybody when we comes create to the art. So, yeah, the exactly. people, it's a, it's a, it's a exactly. holy place. So Jay was a huge loss, and that's why Run DMC broke up. There was a chemistry yeah, yeah, with yeah. you guys that was, you were funny. You were heavy, you were making statements, you were rocking. Right. You were, but you guys were kind of, you know, you had the, the goofy side yeah, of it. Yeah, it was lighthearted. It was lighthearted. You could tell you got along. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that's why you're such a big crossover artist, to me anyway. Because, you know, when something's real hardcore for us white guys, you know, you uh -huh. see some guy up there. Right, say, right, right, right. If I, if I was around, he'd kick my ass, right? right, 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 right. right. <laughs> for no it's reason. It's very intimidating. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's very so intimidating. It, like, so we was hard without yeah. being negative. Yeah. That's great. Right. I mean, you're a good guy. See, I, when I first met you today, I've got this from you. This music stuff has allowed me great opportunities. I got to see you in person playing. That's the beautiful thing about what you guys do. Y'all bring, by y'all playing those instruments and making those songs and making, whether it's love, politics, social relations, y'all bring people's emotions to life. Yeah, and it's, it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful and thing. And we use that, that's why we yeah. sampled all your music. Yeah. Run DMC were trailblazers. They were the first rap group to have a top 10 album, the first rap group to have a Rolling Stone cover. They took rap from a black American audience to the white audience, but they also took rap to an international audience. They took the genre away from funk and disco and towards rock and helped create what is now kind of rap rock. So bands like Limp Bizkit and Rage Against the Machine, but also Faith No More, Public Enemy, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Korn, all these bands uh, can be traced back to Run DMC. Run DMC were hugely influential. You had the early stage of rap, and then after that, you have this period of kind of great lyricism, where it becomes a very, it becomes a sort of art form, which is, it's, it's not just about the beats and the, you, the samples you use and the way the music is put together, but it's about this kind of lyrical flow and the way in which it, you know, the way in which the rap is delivered. Run DMC's debut album is considered groundbreaking because it's the first time you hear this new style of hip hop that's very aggressive, quite minimalist in terms of what the DJ's doing, and also very heavy, um, in particular the track Rock Box. It's a mixture of rock, there's a beatbox in there, and then there's these two rappers who are trading lines, they're trading words over this furious storm that Jam Master Jay is creating. And the, the effect was startling. It almost single-handedly took hip hop onto a new level. It was perfect for the time because MTV made the video very, very important. And hip hop wasn't just about rapping. You know, hip hop was about the look and it was about break dancing and so on. And so you had the perfect way in which to represent the, the culture, the fashion, the dancing, everything that goes with the music. The whole Adidas idea came about because um, when I was growing up, we had this doctor in our neighborhood named Dr. D's, and he was very influential. Do you remember this too? Look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And every <laughs> it was a rite of passage for every parent to drive you by Dr. D's house and say, see that house? You see that car? That's what you get when you go to school and get a good education. You little okay. So Dr. D's was looked up to. He would write these bu newsletter bulletins, and you know it would address obesity, food, drug abuse. One week his newsletter was felon shoes. And he, he was partially right, but he's kind of wrong. He said, you see those young people in front of the stores with their fresh sneakers on? Those are the problems of our neighborhood. Now, it's probably right, because the first thing you would do if you sold some drugs is go get some new sneakers. Right. But I took it personally, because I was like, yeah, I wear Adidas, but I'm, I'm a student at St. John's University. My friend over there, he wears Adidas. He worked three jobs just to get one pair of sneakers. So when we went to write the Adidas songs, we had to write a song about it. So my thing was, at that time, my experience was, I stepped on stage at my Adidas, walked through concert doors, and roamed all over Coliseum floors. I stepped on stage at at Live Aid, all the people gave, and the poor got paid, uh, and out of speakers, I hey, can speak. Good God. I wore my sneakers, but I'm not a sneak, uh. so we wrote songs. This February, Access TV presents a celebration of Black History Month with iconic artists that influence the world. The world's godfather of soul. and have left an enduring legacy. Thank you for your strength, your love, your light. Black History Month, now streaming. Watch for free on Access.tv or the Access TV app.